What's up guys? I'm creating a new YouTube channel. Uh, it's called Cars, Trucks, and Chaos. It's uh, gonna have a bunch of my truck build. It's a 2013 Silverado 1500. Um, I've already put a bunch of money into it, but I've got plans to put a bunch more. And I also own a 2002 Chevy Trailblazer. Um, it's kind of an old beater car, but I got plans to put some money into that too. So if you like working on cars or trucks, uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll go on this journey together. But for now, I'm going to give you an overview of both of my vehicles and kind of run through what I've done to them. So here we go. This is my 2013 Chevy Silverado 1500 LTZ uh, Z71 package crew cab, four wheel drive. Up front we got a six inch lift BDS with the Fox coilovers and the Cognito upper control arms uh, Toyo Open Country 35 by 1250 uh, Open Country MTs on some hostile sprockets 22 by 12 negative 44 offset uh, got the spiked lug nuts up front here we got the spider halo headlights with HID bulbs um, Got black label cube lights that replace my fogs. Uh, I got fog and flood pattern. Bought these at customoffsets.com as well as the black label light bar in my uh, bumper. Custom grill. Um, I think the grill was made by Paramount. And then I put the uh, hostile logo on there. Um, just some cheap eBay tow mirrors. They, I replaced the lights that are in them with some switchbacks. You can see it when I unlock their orange. When I'm driving, they're white. Um, removed the side molding. My truck's dirty, so forgive that. Uh, removed the side molding, replaced all the badges with black. Got the black Silverado. Got the black Z71 4x4. In the back here, forgive the loud bugs. Got the black bow tie. Also have the black label cubes 
in the rear bumper. Gen Y hitch with the bolt locks. Uses your factory key for your truck. I've got the Carvin dual exhaust. Well, Carvin single in, dual out. It goes to um, these metal militia or a Gibson and metal militia. I guess teamed up and made these tips. They're pretty sweet. Uh, I got a G2 diff cover. I had the truck re-geared. Uh, it's got Yukon 456 gears with uh, Detroit Eaton Detroit through track. Um, what else? I'll pop the hood. The catch can, KNN &N air intake, Optima yellow top battery, got zero gauge wiring. Uh, over here, this is what controls all my lights. I didn't want to put ugly switches in my truck that didn't look factory, so I have this. Ride Controller Pro. It uh, basically I hook up all my external lights and everything to this, and it allows you to access or allows you to manage it from your phone basically. Um, so yeah, I can turn on and off all my lights through my phone. Um, got long tube headers. American Racing headers. Uh, you can barely see them down there. And some uh, new plug wires. I can't remember who the plug wires are through. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it for the exterior. Um, in the bed. Man, I gotta pull my truck up. Stupid trees in the way. Let's give me some space here. There we go. Got a little extra space. So I got the WeatherTech bed liner, uh, swing case, this thing's awesome, keep jumper cables, tie downs, all that. I got some LED lights under there, um, bed lights that I can light up with my phone. I don't think my phone's very charged right now. Uh, Got weather tech mats all around, front, back, bed. I got some lighting I put up under here, footwell lighting, it's front and back. Down there, this blanket, I'll let my dog in here every once in a while, so excuse the hairy blanket. Uh, I do have seat covers on all the seats. Uh, King, I think they're made by Cover King. Um, I used to let the dog in here a lot more often. So that's why I have all the seat covers, but I mainly use my other car for that now. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, I got uh, radar detector, uh, Escort Max 360. And a dash cam, black view dash cam. There's one there, and then I have one 
in the back it's up in the top right corner right there um, oh I replaced the replaced the sub that's under there the factory sub with a JL 10 inch JL audio sub sounds way better I still need to get uh, someone to adjust it a bit I don't think I have it hitting as hard as it should but I'm afraid if I crank it up too much I'm gonna blow it so I'm probably gonna take that in somewhere and get them to take a look at it but yeah that's pretty much it for this truck uh, I will show you my other the trailblazer just give me one second and put this back and I will show you that so this is my 2002 Chevy Trailblazer. Uh, not a whole lot done to it. Just tent. Uh, halo headlights similar to my truck. Color match grill. Black bow tie. Uh, both trucks have uh, Vegas Golden Knights uh, license plates. Go Knights. Uh, what else? Inside, weather track or weather tech floor mats all around, front, middle, front, middle, and rear. Excuse the dog hair. I uh, take this, use this vehicle to take my dog to the park. <clears throat> Try to keep her out of the truck since I've gotten this. Uh, only other thing I think of is replace the stereo with this uh, cheap Chinese, I don't know what brand it is, but it uh, runs Android. Wouldn't recommend it to anybody just because uh, I've had problems with this. I've already had to warranty one. When it's real hot outside, this thing doesn't always want to work. This one's working s better than the last one, but I don't know. If you want something guaranteed to work, I wouldn't go with that. I just wanted something cheap for this vehicle. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this. I have some other stuff I thinking about doing to it it's gonna need new tires soon so maybe tires and wheels exhaust uh, I don't know some other things if you guys have some ideas let me know um, the AC in this thing does not work right now the guy I bought it from a couple months ago basically told me the uh, lines just needed to be vacuumed out I don't know if that's actually the case but uh, I'm gonna have to get that checked out so yeah if you guys uh, have any ideas for either the Trailblazer or the Silverado, drop them in the comments below. But uh, definitely got two vehicles that uh, we're going to be doing some work on. So one other thing, um, I'm probably going to try to post once a week. This social media stuff is real new to me. I uh, just barely had a Instagram account about a year ago. So uh, I got to get the hang of all the video editing and stuff. But so yeah, I'm going to try to get videos up once a week. And after that, once I get the hang of this, then maybe a couple times a week. But we'll just see how it goes. If you guys have any recommendations on what videos you want or modifications you want to see, uh, put them in the comments below. Thanks guys.